What is going on, guys? Let's take a closer look at these waveforms we got from the MAF sensor signal and the ignition for cylinder one. So right here, we're at ignition on, engine off. Let's go ahead and clean up that wave a little bit with a couple of ticks of DSP. This is the signal. And we're going to go ahead and measure this voltage. This comes out to about three quarters of a volt. So that's with no airflow with the sensor on. Let's go ahead and scroll to the next section. Okay, here we started the engine. And you can see the signal increases here. And then here you can see these peaks from the ignition. Now the sample rate here is kind of low, so we're not getting a very accurate KEV amplitude on these, but we just want to know when they occur. So this is totally fine. This is a 200 millisecond per division uh, sample. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a RPM curve from this data. So the way we do that is we're going to go to a math channel and we're just going to select RPMs. I'm going to put the formula for that uh, up here so you guys can see what that is. Now, let's raise this RPM curve up to here. Now, you'll see that's not very useful because these amplitudes are all over the place and it just can't get a frequency. But we can fix that by going over to our ignition and adding some ticks of DSP there. Now, keep an eye on that white RPM curve. That's two, three, four five ticks and look now we have a nice clean rpm curve because these amplitudes on this ignition signal are more consistent so now you can see how the rpms change with this math signal and we can just keep going through there's idling 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 right and then now here i open up the throttle and the rpms increase and I basically just keep opening the throttle and you see the RPMs go up here we're at like 2000 and the sensors also around 2 volts there and we can just keep going there I let off the throttle the RPMs drop again and now I do it one more time open the throttle RPMs increase RPMs increase and now over here I actually just let the throttle go so it snaps close and you'll see the RPMs drop. And then there, right here, we shut off the engine. Thanks for checking it out.